Hello everyone. So I thought I'd show you in this flight today that um, things don't always go to plan. For starters, look at my takeoff throttle, 67%. Terrible. For this craft, I want you know, sort of at least up in the higher 70s, maybe the lower 80, 80%. 80 but you want to make sure you give your plane enough thrust to get off the ground without trying to cut the grass. Um, now. I've got the Cadex Rattel in here and it's a CMOS camera so without the filter on which it doesn't have at the moment there's going to be some <clears throat> there's going to be some jello and the higher I go the more jello there's going to be uh, so we're going to have a little fly around a little bit low just to just make sure everything's working okay now I'm going to say a quick little thing about the GPS module on this this is the um, Beltian, Beltian, Betian, uh, the 180. I'm not overly impressed with it. I'm not overly impressed with it. I normally run the U Blocks MN8, MN8 type um, satellite receivers, and they they work a lot better. You know, you normally got between 17 and 22 type satellites. Where on a good day, you know, this is a pretty clear day. It's early in the morning, as you can see, the sun's just rising. Uh, it's on a pretty clear day, and um, the best I will get out of this satellite receiver is about 15 satellites 14, 15 satellites. That's the best. And as you can see at the minute, I haven't got that, even though the H top is quite low. So, all the satellites I'm connected to are all overlapped nicely uh, in a place in that sweet spot there, the H top. Um, that that's pretty good 1.3 so so yeah i'm just having a little bit of fly around quite low there's no one here you know i can go up in the air when i first could take off i always have a little recce around me i can see because i'm looking into a screen not goggles so i can see all around me anyway my peripheral vision and everything and just a quick flick around with the eyes and when i go up i can see if there's anybody on the other side of this hedge and bits and pieces i don't want to startle anybody but this is a video about some of the things that can go wrong. So I mean, at the moment I'm flying around. Um, the VTX that I'm using is one of them little cheap V, what's it, VO, VTX01 or something from uh, Banggood. I don't expect too much out of it. It's 200 milliwatts. It's served me very well so far, especially when you take into account the price. And so I'm a little, you know, obviously I've made a mistake my head when this starts doing uh, its thing so you know so far so good something a little fly around and it is it's, it's you know this AR wing I think it's a lovely little thing to to fly it's a great one to learn on I'm sure that's what people say that they're a learner's wing um, and uh, I think it's great I've never flown another wing so I couldn't give you a comparison hey what's it like to this or that I don't, I don't know all I've all I've done is had to go on this one and I like it I just like the idea that it's quite small. Um, even you know when people come up and talk to me, and they uh, I, I let them feel the weight of the wing, and and it's naughty because generally I don't have a battery in it to start off with, and they feel the weight and they say, "Wow, it's so light." And of course, you know polystyrene. That's what I tell them. It's just made out of polystyrene. Um, I tell them I like flying it because you know the motors on the back, and even if I did crash into something, it's you know you know it's uh, it's just polystyrene. It's not going to hurt, it's not going to break anything, and that's great. Um, yeah, so look, as you can see, flying, everything seems to be okay, doesn't it? I mean, even going around the back of the trees, I'm using that linear antenna on the transmitter, and I've got a circularly polarised antenna on the my receiver. So, uh, I know that going behind these trees with my quads, and that's got a circular polarised antenna, they do work better. Again, I use in this area here. I always use 200 milliwatts on my quad, or on the um, on the wing. Well, on the wing, I like no choice because it only goes up to 200 milliwatts. And uh, and on the quad, um, yeah, the um, quad I put on 200 milliwatts around here. Because the thing is, I like flying quite low, and if you have all that extra power blatting out, you're going to get a lot more reflections. So you're going to see more, perceive it as interference in your um, in your image which I try and 
keep cut down as, as low as I can so not not always having that high power that high gain or anything is is great for you but uh but yeah so as you can see everything seems to be working okay um, any faults so far it's it's me the pilot everything seems to be working okay if you see that my um, RSSI seems to be awfully low that's because I tend to run this in a mode called um, dynamic so it adjust itself as needed so here I've, done, I've skipped forward to when it gets into a bit of a mess here you can see a bit of jello there as I move a little bit higher and here we go look I'm running into a bit of a pickle here because for one thing on my radio I've been playing around with it um, in the software and I think I've put my position hold and my return to home at the wrong ends of the switch so where I'd normally pull the switch towards me for return to home and push the switch away from me for position hold, I think these two are in the wrong place because it's not doing what I'm expecting it to do. And as you can see, I've got no picture and that can be quite scary. And I think in these times when this happens, this is the time when you've really got to keep your cool. I'm looking away because I get quite a lot of telemetry sent through to my radio so I can have a quick little look down at my radio and I can see that I've still got a bit of altitude, I'm still moving, I've still got you know GPS lock and all this sort of thing and um, but yeah this is what can happen I mean you can run into this and you can think oh my life what am I going to do and the best thing I can say to you is look you just as soon as you get little tiny glimpses try and get your, your judgment on where you are um, if you've got the benefit of some big home base structure like right there top you know in the, in the left hand side now you can see what I'm going to get back to so you can see all these trees and everything that's, uh, that are in the way of me and this is where even on the same amount of power that the circular polarised antenna works a lot better because there was no faults with the craft there was no faults with the VTX um, but with a circular polarised antenna do you know that does actually work better uh, through there now I must admit this is in the middle of it seems like the summer time by looking at the video um, and there's a lot of foliage on the trees and that will eat up that will eat up very quickly your signal so yeah so that's it you know I'm out of danger um, and I'm, I'm glad that I didn't lose the craft um, especially down in that area over there because that means I would have had to cross quite a few fields and probably upset people trying to get it as I didn't have to get a telling off when one day I went in there looking for my Hubson so yeah uh, these, these are just some of the things you've got to be careful of like I said right at the start it was about not giving it enough throttle um, I hadn't flown it for a little while and I'm you know so I didn't give it enough throttle, throw it up in the air, but so you make sure you always give plenty of throttle. I mean, you're better off giving plenty of throttle. Don't try and take off in a um, assisted mode, being like GPS or anything, because when you're trying to throw it up in the air, it's automatically going to try and bring you down. And uh, and if you do run into lack of signal, and uh, you know, try and get a bit higher, try and have a place you can look for that uh, brings you back in and. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Take care of yourselves.